I mean, I don't talk to my family. Why not? They're irrelevant. Ostracized from a cruel society Just cause I suffer from a little anxiety Please help me I say quietly through gritted teeth and a fight for sobriety Welcome to the year 2019 The year where people will do absolutely anything to become famous online People will literally sell their own mothers to the devil for followers on social media or to become famous They're irrelevant You may think I'm joking but believe me, I am not. This guy right here won't even talk to his own mother because she is irrelevant. Have you ever heard such nonsense and rubbish in all your life? Because I personally haven't. This person won't speak to the woman who gave him life, the reason he is alive today. The woman who went nine months carrying him inside her belly. The woman who had to push him out. The woman who had to change his dirty diapers. The woman who had to wake up at two o'clock in the morning because he was screaming to feed him. He doesn't thank her for any of those things. He doesn't say thank you mom for giving me life. Thank you mom for giving me a place to live. Thank you, mom, for putting clothes on my back. Thank you, mom, for feeding me. No, 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 no. None of that. None of, I love you so much, mom. You're the best mother in the world. I couldn't have asked for a better mom. No. What does he do? He doesn't speak to his mom because she's irrelevant. Very relevant. You could not make this stuff up. This is the person's Twitter account. What a surprise, he's from Beverly Hills. The most materialistic place on the planet. The place where there are millionaires and billionaires living in their gated mansions and outside there are homeless people living on the street in tents. His Twitter links to his Instagram account. His posts on Instagram Oh, of just him twerking. What a way to get famous. Or so-called famous, sorry. Wait a minute. Wait, hang on a second. Is this why this person's famous? He has a photo on his Instagram of him and Billie Eilish. This has to be fake. The guy photoshopped himself in a photo with somebody else who's actually famous and actually relevant to make it seem like he knows famous and relevant people. Who, who does that? Who photoshops themselves with a famous person and then posts it on Instagram? This person is trying so hard to be somebody that he's not. I've seen it all now, I really have seen it all. Let's see what he posts on YouTube. I bet you it's a load of crap. Yeah. Oh. Hey everyone. You guys just caught me doing laundry, trying to get the semen on my underwear. It's my dad's. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I I'm not watching no more. I'm sorry. Seven seconds in, I'm done. Cut. Look at the likes to the dislike ratio. This guy isn't famous online. This guy is hated online 574 likes by deluded people versus 2.1 thousand dislikes by normal not deluded people like you and me i haven't actually seen the dr phil episode where he's on dr phil for some reason i don't understand why he's on dr phil in the first place but we're gonna watch it together we like to make videos online that just kind of push the boundaries <laughs> The purpose in our videos is mostly just to make people laugh, but also kind of freak them out a little bit. We both have had videos go massively viral. The attention is well loved. I walked into the store with Bamarin, and you know, we found an ice cream. No, 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 no. Is this the person who went into the supermarket licked the ice cream and put it back. Oh my God. 
Remember at the beginning of this video when I told you people in 2019 will literally do anything to be famous on the internet. There's just no words. I didn't know this is who it is, but it's all beginning to make sense to me now. I opened it up, licked it. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I decided to drink mouthwash and gargle it back into the bottle and put it back on the shelf. Oh my days, it just gets worse. This person took a mouthwash, opened it up, gargled it in their mouth, and put it back in the bottle and then back on the shelf for somebody else to buy. The reason why these people went viral is because they're idiots, not because people actually like them. The way you spit it back. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't do anything wrong. They didn't do anything wrong. Being disgusting, licking ice cream, putting it back for somebody else to buy and get your dirty germs is not doing anything wrong. Putting mouthwash in your mouth, putting it back in the bottle, putting it back on the shelf for somebody else to put in their mouth is doing nothing wrong apparently. Delusional. Because when we did our videos, we actually paid for the products. They actually paid for the products, did they? I smell something here. You smell that too? It smells like BS. They're probably only saying this now because they got so much hate online. They didn't buy these products at all. Let's be honest. We did this because we want our faces out there. We wanted attention. There was literally no other reason besides us literally just wanting to be famous. They literally wanted attention. So this is what they do. Talk about being fame hungry or what? This is what's wrong with society. These two people sat here right now. And if you're fans of these people and you agree with what they do, you need to look in the mirror. Go to the mirror now. Take a long, hard look at yourself in that mirror and ask yourself the following. What the hell are you doing with your life? That's all you need to ask yourself because if you're fans of these people, you're doing something very wrong with your life. Right after we made our viral videos, we just posted them as soon as possible and it went crazy. The next morning when I woke up, 30 million views. It went insane. Millions of views. I was literally just sitting on my bed, scrolling, scrolling through notifications over and over, and it went to 18 million by the end of the night. A lot of consequences came with these videos. I actually got fired from my job. This person got fired from their job because of these videos. Very relevant. Do you wonder why? But I'm banned from Walmart and I got banned from Instagram for about a month and a half. I opened up my social media and saw thousands of death threats in my DMs of people genuinely wanting to hurt me. Death threats. I don't agree with people sending death threats to anybody. Yes, you can hate and dislike these people, but please, don't stoop to their level and send other people death threats. Ever since we made our mark on the influencer community, we realized that it was the place for us and we don't ever want to leave. We're definitely not going to stop here. <laughs> if anything, we're just going to get more and more followers. <laughs> if anything, we're just going to get more and more followers. Very relevant. Look at me, I'm so perfect. Follow me. I'm so famous. Don't you just wish you could be like me? What mark? on the influencer community have you left? Other than you're a bunch of idiots, no brands are gonna wanna work with you and you're not actually getting true and real fans. You're hated on the internet and you're hated by influencers. Very relevant. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. If you wanna be famous in 2019, go to a store, buy some cat food, eat the cat food, Put it back on the shelf, let somebody else buy the cat food for their cat, film it, put it on YouTube, and you're famous. This is what's wrong with society today. Very relevant. People just want to be famous. They don't care what it costs. They don't care what it takes. They will do anything. Please don't be that person. I'm not going to waste your time or my time talking about or watching this pair of idiots anymore. They're egotistical, they only care about fame, success, 
followers online and money. That's literally it. Please do not end up like these people. Very relevant. Because if you do, you will be hated online by everybody and anybody. If you've enjoyed this video and you agree with what I've had to say, make sure you give this video a like. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe to Authentic Mental Health so you never miss our future videos. And make sure you follow us on our other social media platforms like Twitter and Instagram. Our social medias will be in the description box down below. Take care guys and girls, and I'll see you all again for another video.